Hi everyone, my name is Laurie and welcome to The Icing Artist. So this week I'm going to be showing you guys how to make some really beautiful wedding sugar cookies. You can click here for my sugar cookie dough recipe. But for this video I'm going to start off with my sugar cookie dough. And I'm just going to roll that out on a floured surface so that way it doesn't stick. And I've got a couple cutters here. I've got a cake, a dress, and this little plat cutter. I will leave a link in my description box below where you guys can find these beautiful cutters. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut out my shapes. I've rolled my dough out about a quarter inch thick just to keep my cookies kind of nice and chewy. And I'm just going to put them on my piece of parchment paper. And then I'm going to bake them at 375 for about 13 minutes or until they're lightly brown on the edges. Now I'm going to roll out some of this, it's kind of ivory, almost a champagne-y color. And I'm just dusting my surface using some icing sugar so that way it doesn't stick. And I'm going to want to roll that out extremely thin. And again, I will leave a link in my description box below where you can get these little plunge flower cutters. They're quite beautiful. So I'm going to cut out some of this bigger one and then some of these smaller ones. And then we're going to assemble them all together. So I'm just going to push down in the center of them using my veining tool and I'm just going to push down in the center of the large ones and then wet them with some water and then for our smaller ones we're going to push down and then insert it into the big one just like that and then I'm going to pull them off onto a drying sheet. Now these are good just to put on your cookies just as they are but if you want to let them dry for a couple days you can do that as well. And now my cookies are all ready to go, nice and cool. So I'm just gonna brush them using some piping jelly, and this is so my fondant will stick to the cookies. I'm gonna roll out some white fondant. And of course, the color for the wedding shower and the wedding was white and champagne, so those are the colors that I chose to use, but you can use whatever colors that you like. And you just want to cut out all of the same shapes. And then you can lay that right on top of your cookie. And the piping jelly will help your fondant stick to it. And that's it. They're nice and covered in fondant. And for my cakes, I'm actually going to lay on this impression that I got with my cake cutter. I'm going to roll my rolling pin over top of that and that's going to put these little impression lines right into my fondant and it's going to look very beautiful just for an extra little detail there. So I'm going to lay my cutter right on top of that. Make sure it's lined up perfectly and then cut out the shape. Now just peel back the excess and then lay my cake right on top of my cake cookie and you can see how beautiful that little impression is. It's quite pretty. Of course it's just an extra little detail. You don't necessarily have to do that. If you don't have the impression you could always do something else. And for my plaque I'm going to use this other different impression mat. I will try to find one that's similar for you guys. I actually ended up getting at this um, bargain kind of sale. So I don't have the link for it, but I'll try to find a similar one for you. It's very pretty though. I'm just going to cut out the shape. Just to give it a little texture, a little bit more interesting instead of the plain fondant. You see how pretty that is? Just a nice little stitching pattern. Now I'm going to cut out these little strips of my ivory to make sure they're all the same width. I'm just going to line it up and then cut again. And these are going to be for the plaques for my little date cookies. And I glue that on using some water and the water is really going to help my fondant glue together. And just add two little dots there. Now I'm using my royal icing to pipe on the date. 
For all of my recipes, you can go to theicingartist.com. Royal icing is a really hard icing. It pipes on wet, but it dries rock hard. That's what you use for a lot of flowers and gingerbread cookies and stuff. And for my dress, I'm just gonna give her a little sash going straight across the dress. And then I'm going to pipe a little dot of royal icing and that is going to stick my flower to my dress and really make sure it's nice and solid there so it doesn't fall off. I'm just going to push down lightly so I don't break the petals. And there we go. That's a very beautiful wedding dress cupcake. Simple but pretty. And for my cake, I'm going to do three dots of royal icing because I want to put three flowers on. I've got to say the cake is my favorite. I don't know if that's just because I make cakes for a living, but I really, really like this little wedding cake. I think it's gorgeous. Just press those on. And you can make these cookies up to even a week ahead of time. Just let them dry and you can package them and stuff so that you're not doing everything last minute right before the wedding or wedding shower. And when you're ready to package them, you can put them in little treat bags. And you can even add on dates or names or place settings just for an extra detail for your party favors or place settings. It's a really nice detail for your party. See how beautiful that is? I had a lot of fun making these cookies. I thought that they were absolutely gorgeous and perfect for wedding favors or bridal shower favors or anything like that. And you can make them completely custom by just changing like the flowers and the ribbons. So if you got like teals and yellows and stuff like that in your wedding, just change up the flowers and that's going to make it completely custom and personal for your own wedding or wedding shower. I hope you guys really like them. And for all of my recipes, you can go to theicingartist.com. And a big congratulations to the bride-to-be, my future sister-in-law, Evelyn. Love you. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe because I do put out new videos every week. Take care, everybody.